Hello guys and welcome back to Let's Talk by George. In today's video, I'm going to do a review on the latest uh, port. I mean, it is not a port. It is a, actually a modified MIUI ROM from Grishan. So, let us begin the review. As we can see that uh, the, the MIUI version is 13 and the Android version is um, 12. So, let me go to the uh, all specification. You can see the Android version is 12 and the MIUI version is 13.01 and it is actually Indonesian ROM. So uh, the ROM is actually Indonesian and he has tried to modify it or modify a little bit uh, uh, the ROM. So basically you will have the uh, default uh, uh, kernel and you can see the Android security update is, of, uh, is on uh, 0.1.12. 2022 so it is not january but it is actually a december security patch what you are actually getting here now coming back and um, you can see that um, uh, i mean grecian rom actually i'm familiar with the grecian rom from uh, um, oreo i believe uh, i mean yeah he started porting or he started modifying rom uh, very long back ago so the rom is quite stable since it is actually using the um, miui indonesian um, version of rom as the uh, as the base or something like that so uh, widgets what we are actually getting is the all miui 13 widgets so it is the similar like the uh, stock miui 13 rom but the launcher has been replaced the launcher is not the default POCO launcher, but it is actually the launcher something we are actually familiar with in uh, uh, Global ROM. So it is some similar sort of uh, launcher what we are actually getting in the ROM. Now uh, you can enable the blur for the folder options, so which looks re uh, really nice. And um, coming to the magis, oh no, no, before we go to the magis, let us go to the settings. Now the ROM doesn't have the monet enabled by default. So what I have done is I have flashed the MIUI monet uh, the magis module. So you can see MIUI monet, pro, uh, monet project over here. And um, the safety net can only be fixed through um, flashing a, the universal safety net fix 24 point. Um, zero, which is also over here, yeah, 2.4.0 by K Dragon Universal Safety Net Fix. And if you need a monet for the ROM, make sure to flash the Magix module. Now, uh, coming to the settings page, you can see uh, how smooth the the applications are launching. As an example, yeah, you can take up any um, any uh, application, and it is actually having a smooth launching. So, it is really great. Let us go to the settings page. Well, uh, to be honest with you, I am not actually going to take, take you over through each and every option that is available in the ROM. But I am just going to show you the customization options that are available in the ROM. So, coming to the display, you can take up the controls and run status bar. So, basically, this much is the customization option that is available with the ROM. First of all, you can customize the clock size in the status bar. Then there are quite a lot of status bar styles over here where you can move your network speed indicator to the left or right and stuff like that. So unfortunately, the modern style or the iOS style of status bar is not yet available with the ROM. Then you can see the uh, change the notification icon sizes from 4 to 5. There are a lot of uh, different sizes are being given over here. So if you don't like to have a colored notification, definitely you can disable it by this toggle and if you want to hide the battery option you can actually do that just by enabling this um, toggle so connection speed so this is the customization option that is actually available with the um, with the ROM so uh, apart from that there isn't any much customization available for the ROM unfortunately um, I mean, you can expect a super stable ROM and uh, password and security, you will have the screen lock, fingerprint unlock, face uh, unlock and all. So this is actually what is available with the, with the ROM. Um, the ROM is super stable and if you prefer to use a, modifi a modified ROM, 
and uh, the ROM also has the default MIUI dialer and messages application. So if you uh, want to have a ROM which is having all these kind of modifications and stuff like that, definitely you can tr give a try to Grecian port. Once again, I would like to thank you for uh, watching my ROM review and please make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, YouTube channel and do not forget to press the bell icon. Thank you.